if we know that the function has removable discontinuity, how do we remove the point of discontinuity? That means, how can we redefine the function so that it becomes continuous at the point of interest? So how to do that is the following. Since we know that the limit as x tends to a of f of x exists, maybe let's call it L. So to redefine the function so that it becomes continuous at the point A, we simply redefine the function in the form f of x equal whatever it gives us. Okay, let me call it a new function here. g of x is equal to f of x anytime x is not equal to a. And then it is L when x is equal to a. Where L is this limit? as x tends to a. Now with this new definition, what we now have is a continuous function. So using this now, going by the example we have, we have f at x is x squared minus 1 divided by x minus 1. So if now I redefine this to be my g, and I call it 2 here, x is not 1, x is equal to 1. We can see that this new function, this new function is now a continuous function at the point x equal to 1. Reason, we can see that f at 1 exists. It is 2, so I write 2. We can see again that limit as x tends to 1 of f of x. As x is tending to 1, it tends to 1 either from the positive or from the negative. So now we have removed the part that is 1. So this is nothing but uh, the limit. So in fact, precisely it is what we did in the previous part. This is nothing but 2. So we can see that f of 1 is now the quality limit of f of x as x tends to 1. Hence, the new function we define is continuous. At is continuous. So the new function we define is continuous at uh, x equal to 1. So this is uh, what we get. So this is how we can redefine a function that has a movable discontinuity so that it becomes continuous at the point of uh, interest. All right.